Um, we have having a hag coven based on Norse norms. Each sister is a different creature type. Ooh, fae, celestial, and fiend. What drama can I have for a celestial one beyond not knowing they are evil? Celestials can be evil. Basically, when it comes to the higher and lower planes, all of it is technically celestial. And so you can have an evil celestial if you want. There are moments in media and thing, other things like that that can depict a evil good character. And uh, what I mean by that is someone that is so good that the rules matter more than people's lives. Meaning it doesn't matter how detrimental a rule could be, that's just the rules. And you have to trust the rules. And so with a, I could see like a celestial hag-like creature being so into the details of a contract that they're so into the details of a contract and that the players have to fulfill some code of conduct while she's in their presence. Uh, otherwise, she'll go ape. Because that could be also a thing, like she doesn't look like a hag and she's uh, implementing a deal that the players think is uh, supposed to be super beneficial for them, like earning their trust. Great way to earn players trust is to do something for them, um, to come in and help fight another enemy, to give them magic items. Um, I, would, I would say to develop some kind of trust with the players, do good. Do good, do good things, and and then have them um, be so good that their morality is then questioned. Okay, so Emil uh, is clarifying lawful, chaotic, and neutral hags. Okay, that's cool. Okay, lawful, chaotic, and neutral hags. That's amazing. Yeah, just go super extreme with it. Super lawful. Um, she has her set of laws that the players must follow, and that the possibly the other hags might have to follow as well. Chaotic, such a loose cannon. Be as random as you possibly can and neutral, very blasé, right? Uh, you could tie it into their personalities as well. I feel like it's a really cool kind of dynamic to hag deals as well, where one is by the books, uh, chaotic has more of a parabolic kind of contract, and neutral hags would be kind of middle of the road. It may, maybe it's a by word. Maybe their uh, contracts are just by word. They don't care enough to create a contract. It's like, you say this, I say this, we'll shake on it. Sounds good to me, kind of thing. With your lava hag, make them the president of something. Make them the queen. Make them the military captain. Hags don't need to be in a swamp. They could be anywhere. And depending on their motivations, depending on their origins, perhaps they got into that position by making a deal with someone higher up and they had to put them in, in the, a place of power and they just continued up from there. Chaotic, uh, put them in front of a, a thieves guild where they're they're calling the shots for these thieves and they're they're stealing either magic items or um, you know things related to the fae, or they're kidnapping people to make more deals uh, or children like the other people were saying are neutral. Maybe they run a magic school or they are a captain of a ship. Anyways, play with that, but just put them in different places and I think it's just so, so cool. Follow up, uh, the celestial hag is a druidic nun of the goddess of love. Oh, fun. And has adopted orphans and trained them in druidic wizard training. A lawful goddess of love, huh? That's interesting. Since love is such like a, a um, ethereal concept and is translated by each and every each and individual person, it'd be interesting for a, uh, a super lawful creature to have a definition of love and then enforce it, that would be a scary thing, especially at the head of like a, a, a church of, or a government. A contractual marriage, vid game whiz, destined love. Ooh, that's that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, maybe a destined love. Maybe they take it on the, upon themselves to be a matchmaker. Maybe they think that they know is best when they put two and two per person together and think they should be together. Um, then it's by law. Uh, maybe it is a, an arranged marriage type of arrangement where instead of love being by their choice, it is governed by the law or whatever, or culture or a tradition or whatever they have, that this is the way things are. So this is the thing that must be. And they are the ones that kind of call the shots with that it would be super interesting. I think that's awesome. We got a lot of really good flavor today. A lot of really good flavor. <laughs>